Before trains, planes, and automobiles, the horse was the main means of transportation. Horses moved freight, took people from town to town, children to school, and folks for shopping. A horse and carriage provided a lovely day in the park, or allowed one to show off his best new horse and carriage to friends and neighbors. In the old days, if you didn't want to ride to where you were going, you drove your horses. Soon, trains, cars, and trucks took over most of the horse's job. But the love of the horse continues for us all. Today, the love of the horse in history continues with the love of the driving horse in the 21st century. Restored antique vehicles are preserved both for use and for display in carriage museums throughout the country. Among the collections in North America are the Florida Carriage Museum at Grand Oaks, the New York Historical Society, the Remington Carriage Museum in Alberta, the Curtis Museum in Oregon. The restoration and replication of traditional vehicles has become a serious pursuit for many craftsmen. The history of the vehicle, its maker, and its use holds great interest for many. The Carriage Association of America holds workshops for carriage enthusiasts, and their magazine, The Carriage Journal, features articles on antique vehicles and their history, along with driving activities. Today, driving enthusiasts can drive simply as a pleasurable recreational experience. Going down the road on a pleasant day with good friends and a happy horse is one of the joys of driving. Each year there is a national drive, wherein there is a weekend of recreational driving for the fun of it. Drivers from all over the country come to these gatherings to enjoy the venue and the camaraderie. <laughs> the ADS also provides a list of destinations for those looking for good places for driving fun. Both the American Driving Society and the Carriage Association of America provide a wealth of information for the person who is not interested in competitions, but does want to drive safely. Many, unfamiliar with today's world of driving, confuse this sport with others. It is not racing a sulky on a track. It is not racing a wagon, plowing a field, or going in parades. It is a sport enjoyed by ladies and gentlemen in contemporary dress with both antique and modern vehicles. In addition to driving for recreation, several different kinds of competitions are available to today's driving enthusiast. In most cases, everyone competes equally. In other words, men, women and youngsters and disabled persons compete against one another on an equal basis. There might be a ladies to drive or gentlemen to drive class in the show ring but in most driving competitions, no distinction is made. Drivers, walk your horses, please. Driving in the show ring is known as pleasure driving competition. These shows are held throughout the country and include classes which are judged primarily on the horse working, on how the driver drives, reinsmanship, or how the whole picture is presented with emphasis on the correctness of harness, carriage, and dress of the driver, turnout. Carriage classes are shown with contemporary dress no costumes, regional apparel, nor period dress. Hats, gloves, and aprons are required in the pleasure ring. Almost any equine can be used as a driving horse. Some are bred especially to be used in driving, and crossbreds are popular with many. Horses and ponies are also shown in harness in breed shows, but the requirements and criteria often differ from driving in ADS competitions. Harness types vary both with the vehicle being used and the activity. The two basic main types are the neck collar and the breast collar. Information regarding correct equipment can be had through the ADS and the CAA. Carriages too come in all shapes and sizes and are used for a variety of purposes, recreational driving, pleasure shows, and cross-country competitions. Coaches are an important but limited part of the driving world and are still used both in competition and for driving down the road. Each of the endless variety of vehicles has a purpose and a history. The study of the historic vehicles is a fascination for many carriage enthusiasts.
Hitches also come in a variety of options. The single, the pair, a tandem, a four in hand, and a unicorn. All provide for extending the driving experience. The driving competition, or CDE, has three phases, dressage, marathon, and cones. It is modeled after the three-day eventing competition and was originally conceived in Europe and Great Britain. The event is very popular today, and competitions are held around the world, all adhering to the same set of rules. Horse driving trials, HDTs, are a shortened version of the CDE that can be held at a smaller venue. Arena driving trials, or ADTs, are one-day affairs and are frequently held indoors, if needed, for weather conditions. Again, they involve a dressage test, a cones course, and two obstacles which are normally driven twice for time. Because horses are at different levels in their training and skill, each competition is divided to accommodate both the level of training of the horse and the skill of the driver. Those levels are called training, preliminary, intermediate, and advanced. Demands in the movements for each are relative to the level. In the cones course, the cones are set X number of centimeters wider than the track width of the carriage. The clearance allowed is, again, relative to the level at which one competes. Balls are placed atop the cones and, if dislodged, a penalty is given. Time is also an element of the competition. The obstacles, or hazards, are a set of numbered gates in a confined area and are part of the marathon phase and are driven for speed. Time is taken when the competitor enters and leaves the hazard area. Four national organizations are concerned with carriage driving in the United States. The American Driving Society, ADS, the Carriage Association of America, CAA, the United States Equestrian Federation, USEF, and the U.S. Driving for the Disabled, USDFD. The ADS and USEF both sanction driving events, providing rules for competitions. They also educate and approve judges and technical delegates. The ADS also furnishes a wealth of information on all aspects of driving through a variety of outlets. The Carriage Association provides a number of learning activities, including trips to international competitions, learning weekends throughout the United States, and a great many publications and products available through their office. Membership in the ADS and the CAA provides many opportunities to enhance your knowledge and enjoyment of the sport. Magazines and websites give up-to-date information on events and programs, news and learning opportunities, rules, competitions, and a wealth of knowledge. The Driving Digest is a magazine with articles and features of particular interest to the driving public. There is a program for driving for persons with disabilities, the U.S. Driving for the Disabled, USDFD, which provides programs and instruction to persons with disabilities. There are many different ways in which a person interested in learning to drive can get instruction. There are clinics which are often sponsored by area clubs or individuals. Instructors and trainers are also available in many areas. The Carriage Association provides a number of learning activities, including trips to international competitions, learning weekends throughout the United States, and a great many publications available through their office. There are also week-long camps held in certain areas which afford a longer and more concentrated learning situation than the shorter clinics. Many of the learning opportunities are designed for young drivers. This presentation will introduce you to the world of carriage driving and serves as an invitation to those of you who have expressed an interest. If you have questions and wish further information, we urge you to contact the American Driving Society or the Carriage Association of America. We would like to welcome you to the world of carriage driving. There is a driving activity for any level of interest or talent. Drivers are a helpful and welcoming group. Come drive with us.